Hi, very good morning to you. Welcome to another video. Uh, in this video, I want to talk about how I actually provide feedback, uh, not just to the students, but to the parents. Now, my name is uh, Darren and I'm the English tutor from uh, EnglishTution.org. Now, I realized that uh, very early on when I started tutoring, that uh, many parents are not aware of what is happening uh, during lessons. And uh, I'm of the opinion that uh, you know, students actually do care about um, the, the child's progress and what is happening during, le during lessons. And I wanted to provide that feedback uh, to the parents. And of course, over time, I've come to realize that uh, some parents may just be too busy. It's not that they, 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 you know, they don't care about the lessons or they don't care about what is happening to the child during lessons. Um, but I think uh, being too busy should not be used as an excuse for not knowing uh, what is happening to a child because ultimately uh, teaching is caring, right? And caring is teaching. Uh, the child needs to feel that somebody is there to, to care about uh, his or her future and to care about uh, his or her life. And then they will be more motivated to want to, you know, uh, complete the homework. Because why should a child want to complete the homework if nobody cares, right? If everyone doesn't care, the child can observe what is happening around him or her, and he's not going to care about his own, own work as well. So the, as a result, the, the, uh, the uh, quality of the uh, homework will suffer, right? Because uh, um, the, uh, they are thinking is that, you know, why should I even bother to put in the effort in the first place since uh, nobody care? And uh, so uh, coming from that, I wanted to come up with a way that I can provide some feedback to the parents uh, because the parents are not around when I'm conducting the lessons, right? So most of the time, I just see the kids. I don't even get to see the parents, right? Especially for the older kids, they come for lessons on their own. And uh, uh, I don't get uh, to, to, to talk to the parents. And uh, I, I wanted to have a way okay, to not to of course i can message or call the parent to provide the feedback right but i, I don't want the feedback to be uh, so intrusive right that uh, every lesson you know i have to provide this feedback uh, to the parents so what i did was to come up with uh, a grading system that uh, for every lesson i have to uh, i make myself grade the child uh, on three aspects right first is the homework so if the child comes back and the homework is done uh, to perfection, right? Uh, maybe one or two mistakes here and there, but you can see that the child really put in a lot of effort into their homework, then they will get a perfect score. So if they just uh, manage to you know, complete the homework, but uh, still not to uh, satisfaction, then maybe they just get an average score. Or if they come back and the homework is incomplete, or if they did not do homework at all, then they will get a very poor grade. Uh, the other aspect that I have on the grading sheet is uh, their engagement because I always think that um, active learning is more effective than passive learning. Now, there have been tons of research on that and uh, I'm a firm believer that uh, that's the way it works and it makes a lot of sense to me. I'll cover that uh, in another video and uh, I do not want students to come to the lessons and then just sit there passively and listen to me talk and not having to do anything, right? So that will um, you know, not help them you know, to develop their thinking and uh, I want them to be able to actively work on exercises so that they are the ones who are uh, you know, developing and they are the ones making the improvements, right? Not me. I don't need to practice and make the improvements. I am there to show them, right? To demonstrate to them this should be the approach that um, you should take these other steps and uh, to explain to them uh, how they can uh, cope with the exercises. So if uh, they come for the lessons and during the lesson they ask a lot of questions, then they will get a very good grade. But the questions that they ask, right, have to stem from a genuine intent to want to learn more. And it should not be, you know, out of uh, the, the fact that they are getting a poor grade for their engagement and therefore just to so, so as to bump up their grades, they just, uh, you know, ask some patronizing questions. That should not be the way. So for patronizing questions, no marks, right? So they will still get a low mark if they just you know, ask questions for the sake of asking and not for the sake of learning. And the last and final aspect that I grade the student is uh, on their attentiveness, right? 
Um, because I know some students, they, they come to lessons and then they daydream or, you know, the worst case scenario, they even sleep. So, uh, I think parents do need to know what their child is doing in class because if they have exhibit this type of behavior during my lessons, then in all likelihood, they may exhibit very similar behavior when they're attending lessons elsewhere, like in school or other tuition lessons, right? So if the child has this common problem and uh, the parent is aware, then the parents can take action, right, to try and modify and try to you know help the child adjust and change this behavior, right, from a negative behavior to a more positive behavior, right? But uh, if there's no feedback, then there's no chance the parent doesn't know. The parent thought, oh, my child is attending tuition and that's uh, spending his time uh, productively. So I'm expecting to see an improvement in grades. But that's not the case because the child comes for lessons and then the child is not exactly paying attention in class. So uh, I think this feedback is very useful. Um, but uh, going forward, I want to uh, make even more changes uh, to this approach because uh, like I mentioned earlier, some parents simply just don't have the time to monitor the progress of their child. And I have students coming back and tell me that, hey, hey, Mr. Chow, the feedback that you give every single lesson that you painstakingly, you know, graded the, 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 the children, uh, is useless because my parents simply do not look at, uh, the, uh, the, the grading system. And then on top of that, there are some other problems because some students, when they see uh, me giving them a negative grade, they kind of get discouraged. And the relationship between student and teacher become a bit more tense because, you know, how dare you, Mr. Child, give me a negative grade, right? And then uh, kids being kids, uh, if they think that they are, you know, in some kind of possible trouble, right, they may try to, you know, hide the grading sheet from their parents. And that kind of defeats the purpose of having the grading sheet in the first place. So going forward, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to remove uh, the grading sheet from the lessons and uh, I'm going to shift the feedback uh, online to my website where parents can just log in and uh, they will be able to see um, the, uh, the feedback for their students, right? So instead of every lesson grading them, I will only provide the feedback when there are notable events, right? For example, if this lesson, the child is sleeping, you know, this lesson, the child is misbehaving or uncooperative for whatever reason, then I will leave the feedback online. And then I leave it to the discretion of the parents to log in, you know, whenever they are free uh, to uh, review okay, what has been happening over the past uh, few months. So uh, I think that will solve a lot of the issues that I've been facing. And uh, I don't know what you think about this approach. Providing feedback to parents, do you think it's a good approach, bad approach? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'm coming to the end of this video. Hope you have enjoyed the content so far. If you like the content, please uh, give it a thumbs up. You hit it, thumbs down. And uh, if you'd like to see more videos like this one, uh, please uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel or follow me on my Facebook page. I will see you around in the next video. Bye.